Hi everybody, me. It's me, the Garda Laxon, and I'm also known as Artie or Chino. I'm here to do a review on something incredible that I found in my collection. Uh, I usually don't really show it off, but this is the only time I can show it off. This is my Robocop collection. Yes. This one right here is known for the Robocop 3 release by Toy Island with talkative voice action. And the battery still works. If you can hear that. This is the Japanese uh, Kai Lelabuki, whatever brand coin figures. They call it the coin figures. There's Robocop 2 uh, uh, color scheme and this from the Robocop 3 color scheme. And the only one that's identical to Robocop 1's color scheme is when he had the damaged Ed 209 with the small Robocop right there. I got two sets of these. I'm actually going to sell this set for $100 complete. This one, two, three, four, five figurines totally. Another Toy Island release. This was actually meant for Alpha Commando release. The body structure of how he is, all you do is press the button and his lights up right there. Um, the body structure of him is built just like a regular Robocop, but not the Alpha Commando. And this was the toy scheme with the Alpha Commando too as well. Where you put Robocop when he gets sick or something like that. It comes with his Robo chair. And when you buy the flight pack right here, it comes with the Robocop toy, which was from Toy Island as well. I have one Robocop Alpha Commando, which just shoots noise. It's actually hanging over here with the Robocop jetpack. This was my first Alpha Commando toy I got. The reason why is that it's identical to the... Um, very, very identical to Robocop 3. The problem about those toys is that it, he's really bulky. But I really like him. I really have the original. This is actually my first Robocop toy. Look at all the wear and tear. I repainted it. I was a kid. I was so into Robocop. I actually used the cap mechanism on it. The helmets are right. The, 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 it's all gone, you know. And then later on eBay, um, it's already, um, years later, I actually found a mint condition loose toy of Robocop. The same one before and after. Wow, and this one's still in its original good condition. This is Sergeant Parks from the Robocop the series, as well as this Robocop is from the series as well. And the rest are the Ultra Police. We got Ann Lewis over here, Sergeant Reed, Will Wilson with his motorcycle, but not really anymore. And some of these figures, there, there's only some figures of Robocop that are known uh, from this style. A lot of people wonder, whoever is a Robocop fan, want to know if this figure how he would look like without the backpack of the caps because he put caps right behind it you know and the caps are legendary blue and then it has a little protection there they won't make toys like that no more anymore and this is how I see from the rear look at this Robocop it has like a point base here and then um, this Robocop um, also is a cap firing mechanism it goes like this and you put the toy, it works with any Robocop figure it says, to put this gun and there he is. You got a really more metallic look into him um, with the remote, they always have removable helmets and then that's how he looks like from the rear. See? This one has no dot, this one does. The reason why this one has a dot um, is probably because of this figure. You put this, this Robocop with the line on him, he has blue whatever color scheme on him and then you just strap the toy up oh, I dropped it. you strap that toy there and then yeah and then you, you put the toy strapping him right there from behind <laughs> right there and then you put Robocop right here the warning about the Ultra Police toys is that this blue armor can flake easily, so I recommend not to really touch it too much. And then Robocop just stands there looking cool. This is his figurine. <laughs> and then um, and this figure goes over here. But this main review is because uh, I'm going to be comparing the original Night Fighter Robocop, you know, right there. I got the original Ed 209 with the click, 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 click. This is the only, those are the one of the rare, that was actually the very, very first Ed 209 action figures ever, ever made. All these other toys, I mean, they, they made other model toys, but for kids wise, having a little potato with two mini guns on it, that was the first and only toy that was ever released. And it's so rare to find that model uh, to get that, that Robocop because, um, 
it's so rare to find that kind of model of an Ed 209 because um, this Ed 209 actually you can actually see the detail in the the face. Um, sometimes the people haven't even put the stickers on them. And then yeah, as I'll, I keep moving on, let me uh, explain about Robocop Night Fighter. Those are actually originals. And when I bought them, I actually opened them. I do have two of each of the same figures. So what I do with those figures, I keep them in storage, and then after that, I have an original package. But luckily, Robocop the Night Fighter, this is the original Night Fighter toy. It comes with a glow-in-the-dark gun. And before Robocop 3 came out, his gun is his arm is already a minigun. Kind of identical to that look right here. And I mentioned my last video. So comparing the NECA Robocop... <laughs> I gotta tell you the truth, NECA did a great job for revising the packaging. Package wise, the NECA was well made. But looking at Robocop, it's just that they just put glow plastic on him. This is more unique because it has a mini gun. I wish they had done this Robocop Night Fighter to be a true Night Fighter, not just a glow in the dark Robocop figure. It's not even a Night Fighter figure to me. The Night Fighter has the armor blue paint scheme over here on each side and they didn't do that and over here it says RBC it means Robocop so check it out I mean and it has a removable helmet and that's how Robocop looks like without the helmet but this is my collection of the Robocop lineup that I have I have more in the boxes I still have to dig in I actually have two sergeant I got sergeant Parks as well as sergeant Reed and this roll cop is original and I'm happy to have this guy because most of the figures that they sell loose on eBay don't really have the helmet or they're really scratched up luckily these toys are not scratched up and I really like the, the look on them I mean the ones that I have scratched up is in this box oh god I gotta dig in here okay there's Terminator Terminator a piece of roll cop's leg when I used to play with him when I was a kid and then I got two Nitro figures. This is Nitro. Nitro. Nitro is actually a bad guy from Robocop. Here's another bad guy from Robocop was um, uh, Headhunter. Birdman Wilson, the guy who flies the Robocopter. So each of the Robocop figures, the vehicles are actually meant for a certain specific type of uh, deal, you know. Oh, I finally found a piece. It goes up here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh well. But um yep, this is my Robocop lineup. <laughs> well, um I really thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to tell you the comparison a little bit of uh the Night Fighter Robocop from the original one because the original Robocop proved to be a Night Fighter when this Night Fighter Robocop to me is just a regular Robocop glow in the dark figure. But the Night Fighter is unique. It was if you buy three Robocop toys and send a move proof and purchase you get this toy for free and it's loose then later on they released it on um, they actually released it and I went to KB Toys and I saw a box and of course when you see Robocop you're gonna buy it <laughs> uh, anyways um, yeah I got other bad guys here too ah, they fell down I even got Pud Face Morgan hmm. he's not really a seriously bad guy he, when I look at this bad guy he's more of like a comedy relief well, thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great day. Bye.